every year, free agency is always very interesting. And this year, so far, things have not disappointed. It's been a wild week. Uh, we've been trying to keep up with everything. and uh, But today, we're going to kind of bring you guys kind of a little bit of a recap of what the Raiders have done in free agency so far. And quite honestly, I, I'm pretty excited. Uh, in fact, I, I've been pretty uh, enamored by some of the moves that have been made. So we're just going to do kind of a quick recap. I know there's a couple we've, we'll, we missed out on, but we'll go ahead and make sure that we do reiterate on some of those. So first off, on Sunday, the Raiders did re-sign Andre James. Uh, the center, uh, the former, uh, the former undrafted free agent, uh, but it was a three-year deal worth 24 million, 16 million guaranteed. Uh, that was big, getting some continuity back along the offensive line and going to help that out. Also, uh, later, like the very first day of free agency, big time stuff. They signed Christian Wilkins, the defensive tackle, coming over from the Miami Dolphins, former Clemson product. Uh, it was a four-year, 110 million dollar deal uh, with 84.75 million guaranteed. Wild. I believe it was, uh, to my knowledge, it was the second highest contract to a non-quarterback in the NFL, uh, in the history of the NFL. Absolutely huge. Does some big things for the defensive line. Also, they signed Gardner Minshew, the quarterback formerly of the Indianapolis Colts and Jacksonville Jaguars, also and the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, to a two-year, $25 million deal uh, with $15 million in guarantees. Also, they signed tight end Harrison Bryan on a one-year, $3.25 million deal. Uh, key losses, yes, they did lose Josh Jacobs to the Packers. Uh, they did lose Bilo Nichols to the Arizona Cardinals. Jermaine Lunar signed with the Giants. Giants. Also, Meek Robertson went to the Lions, and Austin Hooper went over to the Patriots. They also did release um, both, both Jimmy Garoppolo and uh, Hunter Renfro, which honestly I don't necessarily see that as being that much of a shock between those two, but it is what it is at this point. And quite honestly, like I said, this has been a very, very unique free agency period for the Raiders, but. I've loved every move that they've made. They've improved the defensive line. They got some more uh, for more firepower at quarterback that they desperately needed because if you went into training camp uh, or at least you went into the draft with only Aiden O'Connell really on the roster that you're like pretty you know stoked about, that was going to be bad. So now you got Gardner Minshew on there. Uh, you re-signed Andre James. That's that's big time stuff to help out your offensive line continuity. Um, yeah, again, Christian Wilkins is is huge. Uh, and honestly, I think this is just the tip of the iceberg for what the Raiders are going to do. There's a lot more to come down and. Uh, Quite honestly, there's a lot more reasons to be excited because that defensive line going to be nasty. A uh, quarterback to be determined is going to be big time stuff. And the Raiders, they might make some noise this next year. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to follow. But that is it. That is our uh, Las Vegas Raiders free agency breakdown. Some of the things that have happened so far. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe down below. All that wonderful stuff. But let us know what you guys think about our Las Vegas Raiders free agency breakdown.